I am Gabriela Camara. I have a restaurant in Mexico City called Contramar. I have a restaurant in San Francisco called Cala. And I am now gonna make a very traditional pescado a la talla. It's an open butterfly fish, made usually with white fish, that I am gonna rub red chili sauce on one side, and then I'm gonna make a very light green, more sort of Italian influenced green sauce that is not spicy on the other side. It's become a staple of Contramar and it's something that you can make at home if you have a good grill. I am gonna tell you a secret. This is the first time I make pescado a la talla without the grill basket. So let's see how it goes. So we're gonna start with the red sauce and the difficult process of the red sauce is that you have to rinse these chiles and soak them. This is chile cascabel, it's called cascabel rattle because it rattles. I am going to de-stem these before I soak them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them all together. You can let them soak before you cook them, but I'm gonna just immediately bring them to a simmer here. So we want them to be soaked so that they're a little bit softer and easier to blend, mostly. We're gonna blend these chiles with all of these ingredients. We're gonna put them in a normal high potency blender, and that's gonna be our sauce for the red side of the pescado a la talla. While the chiles for the red sauce are soaking, we're gonna make the green sauce. I wanted to make a green sauce that would be an alternative for people who wouldn't want to eat spicy food or who just wanted to have a combination of flavors instead of only the, the red chile sauce, which is a traditional way of making pescado a la talla. Our green sauce is made of fresh parsley, so we're gonna put our parsley in the blender, four cloves of garlic, this is cumin, I'm gonna a pinch of cumin in here, a teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna put a half a cup of olive oil. Sort of, this is inspired in an Italian salsa verde. And here we go. This is ready, this is beautiful. So it's a really bright uh, green sauce. And I always like to taste for salt. It's ready. You know, usually, Salsa verde has also capers and lime and anchovies, but this is the base for any salsa verde that you can eat with. Okay, so after I finish taking everything out, we're gonna rinse this. I'm gonna use it for the red sauce. So here we have our chiles that have been soaked. Chile ancho. In the salsa roja, there are different ways in which to make it. We have a recipe from Guerrero, from the part of the Pacific that inspired Contramar, which there's a beach actually called Contramar. So that's where our inspiration for this talla recipe comes from. In that part of the Pacific, what they use is a little bit of a chiote, which is the anato seed that just gives it color to cloves. Then a little bit of orange juice, half an onion. I am gonna put salt, put a pinch of cumin, also pepper in this one, pinch of oregano. Half a cup of olive oil, garlic. I'm so happy we're making this recipe. It's my favorite and it's also like super endearing that it's how Contramar became famous to the world. Now you have pescado a la talla in every restaurant and it, you, you, you didn't need it anywhere other than in a shack on the beach. One last push and we're done. Here we go. So here we have our red sauce and our green sauce that will turn the fish into the traditional contramar pescado a la talla. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the very exciting part of getting the fish ready. The freshness of the fish is, first of all, you see the eye and it has to be clear, even though the black part is grayish. And then you need to make sure that it doesn't stink. And it doesn't, I mean, it's always a little bit slimy, but if the slime doesn't smell too intensely and also like feels clean, then, then it's fresh. This is a very nice snapper. Here we have it. And I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put it on the board. You wanna make sure that you're cutting and leaving the, the line of the scales intact so that you can actually cut through the whole fish. Because what's gonna keep it together is this part that has been cut, so it's gonna be kept together with a very little bit here. I'm gonna cut into it without destroying it much. So you need to sort of be do it on the side. There we go. Okay. There we go. I usually always like, let me open it. 
going to cut the other side. Get as much meat as you can. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this part out of the spine. Cut this a little bit like this. Little baby. There we go. Okay. Now, there we go. Okay, so it's counterintuitive. You need a cut from the top down, cut the belly open, take out the spine of the fish, take that out, then you open it up, cut the head. I also don't want you to be intimidated at home. You can have like only one of the fillets, or you can have different fillets and you can put like a little bit of the red and a little bit of the green sauce on each fillet and put it on the grill. It's very challenging to cook a whole fish. Before we cook it, I am going to salt it. What we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna use the red sauce first. And this is, I sort of take the middle. Okay. This is our red sign, here we go. Green side. Very garlicky. It smells really delicious. And you don't want to put too much sauce because it will just be a waste. But you do want it to be nice and tasty. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake it to grill it. We will cook it for like 15. I'm sort of going to arrange this. It smells good. This is the first time I make pescado a la talla without a basket grill. Okay, this is going to be a, a difficult operation that I am going to perform. And it's going to be good, but it's just going to, it's messy. I mean, the fish is really good, it's really good meat, but it's, it's going to be messy. But usually, if you have the basket or the little grill basket, or the, what we use in Contramar, usually then you just have everything stick together. Hopefully, like this, and flip it. And then we're leaving the little tail there so they can actually see the whole fish. Okay, so here you have this very homemade pescado a la talla. So it's really challenging because to flip a whole fish that's already been open and, but if I did it today, anybody can do it at home, I promise you. As long as you have a good, fresh fish and you make these two salsas that you saw how I made, they're easy. You could put a little bit more sauce and put it under the grill just so it looks more beautiful. But I want to try this because I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be quite delicious. Mmm. I'm going to make a taco, a little bit of the green, and a little bit of the red. And I like the meat from the tail because it's the softest meat. And I am going to choose green sauce from the book. And this is a salsa roja. Mm. It's good. The only thing we would need are refried black beans and fresh made tortillas. But these are good. Come visit at Contramar. We have that fish coming out of the grill all day and it's a true experience to have it there. Or go to the beach. Go to the beach in Mexico and ask for a pescado a la talla. You won't get the green sauce, but you'll get the red. For the recipe, click the link and the description below.